Typically, and be perfect. If we model, I do. We end up with s squared plus four s plus four. If to s three all squared. You do three, please. Right. What's the result of S plus four all squared? Yep. S plus five all squared, Jack. Lastly, S plus A squared. Yeah. So is that expression? That's what you said as well, can't remember. So is that a perfect square there? What is it then? So where does that come from? We know that we've got to put S. There's got to be S and S go in two brackets. Yeah. Well, let's do this. We've got to do, sorry, we've got to do that plus something all squared. Where does this come from? Yeah. But in terms of a perfect square, that is 12 over 2, half of that coefficient of s, or it comes from square root of 36. Yeah. So in terms of that, it half coefficient of s to equal, then that expression is a perfect square. Yeah. So, one thing that could be done with the perfect square is solve quadratic equations. So, that's a quadratic equation. We now know that we can write that as S plus 6 all squared, and that is equal to 2. Let's write that out again. If we square both sides, or square root of S plus 6 all squared, Square root of zero. We 
therefore x is equal to minus 6. There's only one root in that case. Yeah. So a quadratic equation that can be written as a perfect square is fairly easy to solve. How about that one? First of all, is the left hand side oh, hang on, I'll go back a minute. How about this one? right, left hand side, that would be S plus 6 all squared equals 9. We then square root both sides. S plus 6 is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 9. S is 2. plus or minus 3 minus 6, remember, because this square root can be minus 3 times 3 is 9 as well. Minus 3 minus 9 for that particular quadratic Okay, so if we can make a perfect square, we can solve um, quadratic equations fairly simply. Number two, uh, factorization method of solving quadratic equations. But actually, I'm not going to go into it, it's not a but actually the book is. So if, you do that, if you do a general solution of that, and rearrange it, you'll end up with the quadratic formula that we can know we can all. What about that one? S plus, two plus 12 is it? First of all, is the left hand side a perfect square? No. It is. What we have to do, okay, what we have to do to, if we ignore this constant for a minute, can we write a perfect square based on s squared and 10s? What would it be?
S plus five. So we could write squared. Yeah. And if we if we multiply that out, what do we get? S squared plus 10S plus yeah so what have we got to do to make it Do. What about what's different about that? What do you think we would need to do to that example so that we could?
plus one of brackets out comes out as 3s squared s yeah okay. so the answer to that is now that isn't what we do okay but a good try what do we need to be what do we need to have before to do a perfect square we need to be able to write this out as s in there plus or minus some other term how can I do that i need the s squared term so you need to write So if we divide by 3, we end up with s squared plus 4s plus 5 over 3 equals 0. Yeah? Everyone agree with that? Now, now, how, now, how can we make a perfect square here? S plus two. Okay. What about the remainder? What is S plus two going to give us in terms of a of the constant term. Four? Yeah. It's going to be, what is four whole ones in thirds? Twelve thirds. got to be minus seven thirds because out, out of that we get whole got seven thirds off five thirds Perfect square, this bit, plus or minus a remainder on the end. I go that one.
if we were to, if we were to make um, a perfect square a of s squared plus 3s, what would it be? What do we have to do? half that let's just do it like this We have to half that on the end for it to be square. Remember, we've kept S plus 1.5 all square. So, right out in full, what goes. One point five times one point five is two point two five. What are we gotta do to make that up to twelve? Therefore it equals S plus one point five all squared plus nine point seven five. So this bit called two twelve minus one point. Yeah. What taking away the bit up inside the perfect square? And that will all work. Okay. If we now return to the circuit problem we had earlier, where we had an expression for the current that was IS is 1 over 0.1S plus 10S squared plus 1. We now need to make the denominator into a perfect square to solve this problem. Because then we can make it look like omega over s plus a all squared plus omega squared. Yeah. So what do you think the first thing we need to do to that expression is? S, S squared. So we, that leaves us with I, S is equal to 0 0.1 over 0.01 S plus S squared Plus 
How do we go about turning that into a perfect square? Yeah, we halve the 0.1s. Yeah, so we're looking for, so we can say I s is equal to 0. And we now know we want to write that as a perfect square, s plus another number, plus or minus another number on the end. Yeah? This number in here comes from Zero point oh one over two. We have coefficient of s. I'll write that underneath. So that's naught point zero zero five, and that comes from naught one over two. What about the remainder on the end? What will that be? Yeah, it's equal to it comes out to 0 0.00999975. And it comes from naught point one, what we're looking for it to be, that number there, minus naught point zero five squared because we're going to square that bit from the perfect square got one too many zeros hello you're right I have Yeah. All right. So that is our expression. We we'll write it out once more. Question in. with the perfect square. Denominator. Okay. If we compare that with the entry in the table, Omega over S plus A squared plus A. We've got a squared is equal to 0.99 
we've got A is equal to 0 0.205. Omega equal to square root of 0.099975. What does that come out as? Because we got one, didn't we? Instead of omega, so we've got to deal with that. So we want to be able to write this expression with zero point three one six on the top. S plus 0 0.05 all squared plus 0.099975 there. What have I got? 0 0.1 to be 0 0.316. Multiplied by 3.16, yeah. It is equal to 0 0.1. Oh. What I do to the top, I must do to the bottom. So I need to multiply the whole thing by 1 over... Point one six. So what we've got there is constant multiplier. A damp sine wave. Yep, that bit. This bit is in the form of a O plus omega head of damp sine. And six we can go I of T, I in I at time T is equal to 1 over 3.16 times e to the minus a t times sine omega is 0 0.1 
use and take a steady state is quite considerable. Okay, we can see that it's a sine wave is exponential over time. And eventually, if we graph steady state will be no current at all. If we charged, be steady zero amps, no current flow, like you would expect. Okay, but for that transient period, it's not absolutely at all, so the, the frequency remains, and the, the rate is the wave. We look at one, so perhaps more realistic component values, often okay. Find the value. 